Hello everyone, it's Laura here. I'm going to show you a few things I got at two op shops this morning. Um, and one, the first op shop I haven't been to in a very long time, just because um, they stopped pricing their items, so you would have to go to the cash register and ask how much each, each item was. And it was depending on who was serving you, if it was going to be a really good price, or if it was a certain... Um, couple of people who worked there they would actually put the prices up quite high so I stopped going there for that reason and then today I just decided to go back into it and it's all been redecorated the shop um, everything's moved around and everything's priced again which is great because then you know exactly what you're spending and you don't need to worry about going to ask about every single piece the second shop I went to um, gives you loyalty cards and if you buy um, ten dollars on a purchase you get a stamp and after five stamps you can then get ten items of clothing at half price and that half price deal actually expires within four weeks of the last stamp so I had to use it today because it was going to expire on Tuesday this week and today's um, Saturday so I had to use it up today just so I wouldn't lose that discount um, I'll show you a few things I got and I'll tell you the prices as they go along. Um, this first pair is a pair of jeans by the brand used, brand new with tags. And I paid a dollar for that pair. I got a dress here, brand new with tags, for four dollars. And as you can see, the original price was eight dollars for this dress, and the price is close to where I live they're actually going up in price and sometimes it's cheaper to actually get the items brand new in the shops than go to the op shop um, so it's getting harder to find items to actually sell at the local op shops near me that's why I usually have to travel out a little bit further I've got this dress here 100% silk and it's by Kiralee Johnson which is a really good brand here in Australia she's quite expensive and I got this dress for two dollars so um, I'm going to start that one at thirty dollars and see how I go with that I got this hundred percent wool vest very long style that would go right down to your thighs by the label Lauren it was three dollars fifty I got this Portman's top here it looks like a waistcoat the way it's buttoned at the front Portman's can be quite expensive and I got this for $4 and it, the only reason I picked that one up for $4 was it looks brand new it doesn't even look like it's been worn so I can start that at a good price I got this vintage crop jacket here it's got a little nice detail on at the back and it was $2.50 and it is winter here in Australia so the little jackets have been selling quite well for me this halter dress is by Powerhouse, which is also a good way in Australia. They can retail for a couple hundred dollars. I paid four dollars for that one. Another item brand new with tags, I paid four dollars for. The retail tag says fifty-nine dollars. So um, I love finding things new with tags. It just makes the Western seem that much better. <laughs> Um, because I was running, I went through all the women's section and um, you can get 10 items at half price. So I went into the men's section to get my last item and I got this 100% wool jacket and it was $4.50, sorry, $4.50 made in Italy. Um, and it was Italia, it said Italia or something, Studio Italia, that's the label. I haven't really sold that many business jackets so I thought I would start looking into that and see if I can sell them. I got this Ascot blouse, it's vintage, got that for a dollar and I got this suede jacket for five dollars and um, I've sold quite a few leather jackets at the moment and I've been selling them on my husband's account because he can get free auction listings where I have a eBay store and I can't get free auction listings my auction listings are $1.50 each now which makes it quite hard to sell some vintage items because you just don't know what it's going to go for at the end 
so I've been listing a few things on his account so I may pop that suede jacket up on my husband's account just to see if it can go for a bit higher than what I would probably try and list it for at $19.99 so we'll see what that one goes for and I got a couple of little other items down here I got a pair of new in packet Christian Dior Tates got them for 50 cents I got a little it's got the veil at the front little headpiece vintage for two dollars and two dollars is very cheap here in Australia for headpieces or hats or anything like that at op shops they usually go for between ten thirty dollars sometimes even more at the op shops that try and be like boutiques um, a lot of my local ones are trying to look like actual shops now and um, the prices have really increased a lot and um, something interesting I got at the first op shop all of these items here were two dollars and they're actually golf club um, protectors sort of thing you put them over your golf clubs when you store them and it is kangaroo fur oh no it's not kangaroo fur sorry it's koala fur um, these are vintage, so I got the number 5, number 1, um, number 2, and number 4. I'm missing number 3. So I got 4 of them for $2, and it's 100% koala fur. Um, this leather tab here is leather, and um, it's got a story and a kangaroo on it. So, um, a bit interesting. For $2, I'm going to try and see what I can get for them. The other day I went into um, a different op shop, sorry, I forgot to grab the box. And um, they had a bric-a-brac table that you could fill up a bag for three dollars. And I got this, all these dog ornaments. So some are vintage, some are newer. Little dog figurines and so I filled up the bag with them and then on the same table I found these crystal dishes here. Um, they weigh quite a lot and they're crystal and um, I don't think you're not going to be able to see or you might see on this side the Star of David is all around the bowl so there's another one there another one and in the middle underneath here that's where the other Star of David is as well so these little dishes here, um, I got five of them in total, and they're very heavy. So I'm interested, in, I've done a little bit of research on them, and some of the vintage Jewish, Jewish crystal pieces sell for quite a bit, so I'm not too sure how I'm going to sell these yet, if I'm going to sell them individually or as a set of five. Um, but for a filler bag with three dollars, I just pop them in the bag and I got the dog ornaments so I'm just going to sell them as a big lot and see how I go with them but I was really quite interested in these pieces here the crystal dishes to see what I can get so if anyone knows anything about crystal pieces that have that star of David symbol on them please let me know in the comments below if um to just to help me you know, refine my search a bit about these pieces because I'm not sure how I'm going to go about listing those ones. Um, I haven't really had much time to go to many op shops recently. Um, and I'm in the middle of report card season at school. I'm a teacher, so I've been writing my report cards. I've got parent-teacher interviews coming up. And with my post-grad studies, I'm sitting a uh, big exam in a few weeks time so I've been busy doing assignments and studying for that and I've finished my assignments for that one so pretty busy here trying to run my eBay shop and sell things in my husband's account and teaching and it's pretty chaotic but I really just needed the time this morning just to go out and hit a couple of op shops and just find some new things it's my kind of relaxation I guess I just I really love going out and seeing what I can find and what prices I can get things for. So I hope everyone's having some good sales on eBay and um, some finding some interesting things out there and seeing what they can sell for. Alright everyone, thank you for watching. Bye.